Last month, the Multnomah County Sheriff revealed an investigation into what she calls serious allegations of misconduct by three corrections deputies. They're accused of facilitating assaults, providing contraband, and allowing access to computers and phones for certain inmates between 2018 and 2020. Oregon State Police were called in to lead the investigation and referred charges of official misconduct, but the Multnomah County District Attorney's Office declined to criminally charge the deputies. But the documents linked to that investigation also laid out another issue at the Multnomah County Jail, and that's the topic of this week's Willamette Week cover story. Joining us to talk about the article is its author, Lucas Manfield. What did you find the documents? Tell us about that, Lucas. Yeah, um, sure. Yeah, so we've been chasing down these documents for a year and a half now, basically, ever since the three deputies were suddenly put on leave in um, the Multnomah County downtown jail. And, um, you know, what we what we thought at the time was that, you know, essentially there was a fight club that was being run in the jails. Um, and when the documents were finally released, um, it kind of laid out this much more sprawling allegation, which was, you know, concerning for different reasons, um, basically, that the deputies had been essentially um, colluding with what is considered one of Portland's most dangerous gangs at the time, um, the Hoover Gang. Where did this problem start, Lucas, and how did it get so bad? So basically during this period, 2018, 2019, 2020, um, there was a federal racketeering investigation into this gang um, to top, top members of the gang with the goal of you know, eradicating it entirely. And as a result, a bunch of members of the gang were being held in Multnomah County Jail um, pending trial. And that's, you know, essentially the jail got the nickname Hoover Gang, allegedly, and um, some of the members allegedly befriended some of the guards, um, which created, um, you know, essentially this relationship that, you know, according to the allegations, the guards were essentially facilitating fights, um, allowing gang members to beat up rivals, um, exchanging favors with the gang members, having them beat up people for disciplinary measures that the guards didn't like. Um, and so, yeah, it was 142 pages of interviews with witnesses, medical records, that sort of thing, backing up these allegations. What's being done about that right now? Um, so basically with prosecutors, you know, they review the file and frankly, it was a very, very hard case for them to prosecute just because so much of it is hearsay and so much of the evidence would be relying on people that had known, you know, violent criminal histories or, you know, histories of lying. And, Frankly, you know, many of the stories didn't match up entirely. It would have been a difficult sell for a jury. So prosecutors um, basically punted it back to Multnomah County Sheriff's Office to perform its own disciplinary investigation. And, you know, we will wait and see what the outcome of that is. The sheriff is saying that she's um, going to pull in outside investigators to do that investigation. We don't know who they are yet mm -hmm. or how long it will take. Lucas Manfield, interesting read for sure. Thanks for being with us. We yeah, appreciate you. your time. Yeah, you can read the entire article in the latest edition of Willamette Week on newsstands now or online at wweek.com.